today, before we start, I have this other little snippet also that I think I should share with everyone since we are talking all over. I loved my subject. I think I had enjoyment of it whenever I was doing it. If you are with the people and with the group and you are feeling joyful, your success is guaranteed. My student days only from third year onwards, I got attracted to the field of oral pathology because of the biological concept infused in the process of learning of oral pathology itself. Oral pathology is a subject which after all these years of little experience, I feel that it is very, it is the only scientific binding in the field of dentistry. So it has been a wonderful journey in oral pathology. I take home messages that, you know, love for each other, friends for each other, passion for each other. And, you know, uh, you have to, you know, recycle all these, you know, whatever I have learned from my mentors. So we have to recycle it. Knowledge of pathology is a must. The knowledge of pathology is there in every and each doctor. You know what something is happening there. And that is pathology. So today's oral pathology is, it is blooming, I should say. It is really, it is a, it is a wonderful uh, branch. I think oral pathology is a very, very uh, nice subject. Because this gives you the insight of any disease, any condition. Go inside that subject and then you will, nobody can stop you from your future progress. Love, love, and love yourself. Right. So the official beginning. Good morning again to everybody, or rather whatever time of the day you are. Welcome and greetings to another episode. And, you know, I often, and I think many believe, and we always say that history repeats itself. Why does history repeat itself? Is that we often don't learn our lessons, but also we always focus on the fact that maybe bad things in history repeat themselves, but in reality, the good things too repeat themselves and have the ability to repeat themselves. And the way, the best way to the future is through our past. It has been a great time. We have been, the oral pathology in India is now over 60 years old. There have been great contributions by the founders, by our very seniors. And I think it's a, it's a hope that we will keep it going as well as they started it. And for today's session, we are having a perspective sessions. And as we consider what lies ahead through a look through the past for the largest fraternity of oral pathologists in the world. It seems like a good time to take a walk through our history and then a little look in the future. And for that, we are very, very, very lucky that we have with us Dr. Vinay Hazare, sir, a very loved and dear oral pathologist, senior colleague from India, but he is well known around the world. I, I think every one of us recognize him for years from his pleasant, friendly and kind face. He's, it's one of those people you love seeing and you love interacting with just because well, he is so pleasant and also knowledgeable. So it's, you know, it's great on both aspects. Thank uh, you. Sir is, you're welcome, sir. It is all the truth, sir. <laughs> sir is uh, theoretically retired. And why I say theoretically retired, because he gave up as the Dean uh, of the Government Dental College Nagpur some time back. But he continues as an emeritus professor. I also just saw him working in his clinic yesterday. So, I mean, he is definitely not retired. <laughs> he is working. <laughs> <laughs> yes. He has also got many fellowships, many awards, many achievements. But I think everybody knows him. So we will just uh, go on. And let me say thank you again, sir, for joining us. And um, I will just take one more moment to inform everybody. Please stay with us till the end. We have a giveaway today. We have this forthcoming event, which is about learning how to treat dementia patients in the dental practice. And uh, uh, I am going to give away at the end of the program, we are going to give away one registration as a gift 
to anyone. And there is a whole draw procedure, which is a rather interesting one. We will do that later. So just stay with us till the end. And for our now, I shall um, stop my share. Yes. So now it's all yours, sir. Welcome. I start my share. Yes, sir. Please. Oh, can start share. Can you start it for me, Mandana? Yes, sir. Yes. Yes. Okay. It is yeah, happening. Good. Yes. So. so I make it full screen. Good. So good morning, everybody. And uh, really a nice day to uh, start this, uh, a look at uh, Indian oral and maxillofacial pathology, celebrating uh, legacy, a concept uh, given by uh, Dr. Mandana. And uh, believe me, I start with the disclaimer that uh, I will be sharing my personal experiences in this journey. And some of them will be, you know, uh, I will be missing some of the events or some of the prominent names. So please excuse me because uh, this is what I have learned from, of course, this is a uh, 50 years of my BDS, you know, I started in 1970 and almost 50 years. And uh, I did BDS from Government Dental College, Nagpur, MDS from uh, uh, Government Dental College in Bombay. And you see, I have been, you know, like uh, the logo of uh, Mandana's theme, uh, 360 oral pathology. And that's what I have been doing throughout my career since my post-graduation days. So I would like to take you to first history of dentistry and then oral pathology in India. As we all know, first uh, dental college was started by our Dr. R. Ahmed at uh, Calcutta Dental College and Hospital. And uh, second to start was at Nair Hospital Dental College by Dr. V.M. Desai with the help of L. Nair and M. Nair in 1933. The third and the first government dental college was at, uh, you know, at Punjab, Lahore. That was undivided India and it was named Government Dementomercy College of Dentistry. Many graduates have come up from this, including stalwarts like, uh, you know, one of the uh, stalwarts, uh, the one who first described Professor Daman Lal and so many of, uh, you know, oral surgeons, oral pathologists of uh, the world recognition. Incidentally, the first dental journal was started by Professor Udham Singh Malik, and he. this was the first journal in 1934. The second uh, government dental college was started as the name of Sir Karim Bhai Ibrahim Memorial uh, uh, way back in 1938. And uh, nowadays, my alma mater is uh, known as GDCH Mumbai, and the, the then dean was Dr. KL Shauri. Uh, I have told you, I studied BDS at GDCS Nagpur and that time uh, Dr. Professor Udhani was our dean. And in 2022, we have almost 312 uh, um, dental colleges and out of which over 250 dental colleges are offering the, you know, uh, oral pathology post graduations. You know, first milestones, you know, when we start off, you know, this is celebrating 60 years of uh, postgraduate courses in oral pathology. And uh, as you all know, uh, it was shared by GDCH Nakpu, uh, Mumbai and uh, Naira Hospital Dental College. But we all know first postgraduate teacher is uh, Dr. H.M. Dholkia. And uh, first uh, students were the pair of students at that time. And the subject was known as dental pathology and bacteriology. So, uh, Dr. Dinesh Daptari, the legendary, and Dr. S. Bhattacharya, these were the first uh, students. First dedication, believe me, was on, you know, like uh, dental caries by Dr. Daptari. But first dedication on oral submucous fibrosis was by Dr. N.J. Mani. And he's still active and uh, from GDCH Bombay. Probably his uh, guide was uh, Professor Baldev Singh, who then migrated to Georgia. But 
uh, at Nair also, first dissertation was by uh, Dr. Mohammad Akbar and uh, from Nair Hospital Dental College. Uh, and it is published later under the guidance of Dr. Dholakia. So what are the uh, different global associations of oral pathology? In 1948, American Academy of Oral Pathology, AAOP was started. And in 1950, oral pathology is recognized as specialty by ADA, American Dental Association. 1976, two uh, associations or International Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathologies was started. Most of us are member, I am emeritus member of IOP and uh, also uh, 1976 British Society for Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology started. Our history uh, way, uh, goes back in 1991 when Indian, Indian Association of Oral Pathology was framed. In 1993, it was named and the registration started in the name of the Indian Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology. I think the first journal, uh, though uh, I am given the credit of being editing the first journal, it was me and Dr. Paul. And recently, Asian Society of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology has been very active. Last year or a couple of years back, uh, before in 19, 2019, we had a conference at uh, Malaysia. Kuala Lumpur, where Vandana and me and many of us have, you know, presented. So this is the beginning. This photograph is from uh, Thomas' book of oral pathology. Uh, this gentleman is uh, uh, Dr. Professor uh, K. H. Thoma, and they had a meeting of executive committee at the in American Academy of Oral Pathology. There are very many names: Donald Kerr and Hamilton B. G. Robinson. We have already studied them in uh, during amyloblastoma as another thing. So these were the earlier books when we studied. We studied, I think I was uh, in third videos in the year 1972-73, and we used to have Thomas uh, Oral Pathology, both volumes are uh, very informative, and uh, Gorling and Goldman, they were the editors. You know, we learned, and also few of the names are also associated with, you know, Indian history, like uh, Professor Bhaskar, uh, Synopsis of Oral Pathology was the most popular book. And uh, of course, I literally studied each and every chapter from Synopsis. And uh, that was the sixth edition presented by uh, Professor Bhaskar. He did uh, uh, BDS from uh, Punjab Dental College that time that was in Lahore. And then he migrated to Georgia. But uh, in US, he framed the armed forces of Institute of Oral Pathology. So what is known as AFIP is still very active. And uh, fortunately, Dr. Daftari and many of uh, colleagues have interacted uh, IOP and uh, uh, F AFIP. So I, we also studied the stones, oral pathology and dental diseases, you know. So that time, this was a very famous book and courtesy Dr. Nair, uh, Nair Hospital Dental College these books are still there. So these were the early bo earlier books. But believe me, one of the best book and one of the best edition was uh, Professor Scher's textbook of oral pathology and fourth edition. And see what a beautiful uh, definition of uh, oral pathology he gives in preface. And uh, it says oral pathology represents confluence of basic sciences and clinical dentistry. Yes, indeed, it is a confluence of basic sciences and clinical dentistry, like this is the confluence of uh, Alaknanda River and Bhagirithi River leading to the Ganges at Deo Prayag. So Ganges is literally a uh, uh, stream of wisdom. So through the science of oral pathology, an attempt is made to correlate human biology with the signs and symptoms of human disease. So we attempt to understand oral diseases so that it can be properly diagnosed and adequately treated. So I'm really, you know, I always quote this definition and it has made a permanent uh, imprint on my understanding of oral pathology. And of course, I won't be talking much uh, later editions, but there have been many uh, publications. But now come back to uh, start of the journey. Uh, that's uh, Dr. Dholakia uh, started in 1950 till 82 and then joined Manipal and retired from the Belgami. He was the first postgraduate teacher in oral pathology. That's what I told you. He was LDSC, LDS, RCS. And that time they were, you know, like uh, allowed to teach uh, dental pathology, dental anatomy. Thorough gentleman. And of course, uh, 
teacher of teachers of many generations or four, four generations. So there are some legends. Of course, I have told you about Dr. Daftariya, uh, Dr. Daftari, Dr. Bhattacharya, Dr. Baldev Singh, and who has worked with the Professor Pindberg. Uh, the dental colleges like Lucknow, uh, Bombay, Trivandrum had an active collaboration with Professor Pindberg, which resulted in a tremendous uh, understanding of uh, what is now known as oral precancer or oral uh, potentially malignant oral disorders. Our Bhishma Pitama from South, Dr. Vishwanathan, very humble, my teacher, my you know mentor, Dr. BDBG, late Dr. Bhatt, my postgraduate director, Dr. Lele, Zekar Zapkeria, you know, one of the very famous name in, you know, very well respected name in South India or oral. Dr. Mani, as I told you, first dissertation on OSMF, Dr. Mohammad Akbar from Nair. Babu Matthew, he is the first double MDS in oral pathology and oral medicine. And all of them, including Dr. R.M. Mathur, first overseas fellow with Professor Kramer, and many of them, Dr. Sugathan, and many, many of them. I may have forgotten some names. So these were the legends. As I told you, in 1991, we assembled at uh, Gymkhana, uh, at Naira Hospital Dental College, Mumbai, nearby. And uh, there was a first meeting held. And probably this may not be the true snap of that meeting, but you know, some of the stalwarts were present like uh, late Dr. Bhatt, you know, he was instrumental in uh, adopting uh, our, uh, you know, constitution along with uh, Dr. Lele and Dr. Daftari, Professor Mathu, Dr. BVG, Professor, uh, and these two gentlemen, you know, like uh, we all three worked together since 1991. Dr. Uh, Kukreja, uh, let Dr. Kukreja, Dr. Nainani and me, we have been, you know, working since last 1990 years until to date. And uh, this is how that whole beginning of uh, Indian Academy of Oral Pathology was based. Of course, these two gentlemen, Dr. Daftari and uh, Dr. Professor Johnson, they are still in 1980s, but they are still, you know, uh, helping us to strengthen the bonds in between uh, colleagues and with the international collaborators. So I remember in 1980, this was uh, uh, Professor Lucas, you know, he visited Professor R.B. Lucas, you know, we have a uh, tumors of the oral cavity, uh, textbook of oral tumors by Professor Lucas. He was there and when, you know, I am standing here in my packet, you believe me, I used to always carry one slide, you know, and I was uh, discussing one of the slides at GDCH uh, Dental College, uh, Mumbai. You see only monocolor microscope was available at that time, but Professor uh, Lucas shared all his uh, knowledge and uh, uh, discussed the slide thoroughly well. So you can see the happy faces, Dr. Sabne, uh, Dr. S.E. Shroff, what, you know, like he's a very passionate about uh, uh, oral pathology and he's still teaching. Uh, sometime he goes to uh, GDC and Dr. Tupkari. These were few of our colleagues, Dr. Bar Pandey, Dr. Paul, and so many others. So we have, you know, started working. And I, you know, uh, basically, uh, Professor Pinberg, you know, is always associated. Uh, uh, 1921, last year, uh, we had his, you know, birth centenary. He passed away in 1995. But tremendous impact he made to understand oral submucous fibrosis and you know uh, carcinoma and of course he is well known uh, for his uh, you know uh, spin burst tumor so we have a uh, very i would say very very illustrious past you know when we talk of the past from 1960 till 80 or you know you can take it in few decades so they used to come guide us through uh, you know attending uh, conferences this is the third iop 1994 conference at south uh, uh, this is a resort in, you know, like uh, uh, Chennai. You can see the towering personality, Professor Pindberg, another Professor Vishwanathan, Alka Kale, Hemavati, our colleague from Bangalore, Dr. Sachitra Gosavi from Nagpur, and one of the wonderful men, Dr. P. R. Murthy. He has really uh, put uh, oral submucous fibrosis uh, and TIFR group and him on the global map of understanding of uh, pathogenesis. 
you it's a hidden ramakanth is always you know somewhere somewhere in the background chaitanya babu you know mm -hmm. one of the and very humble uh, srinivas so we used to work like a family of course i missed this conference because i was doing my commonwealth medical fellowship with uh, supervisor uh, professor johnson and uh, in, then i remember you know in uh, uh, nagpur we had seventh iop conference you know in 1998 so many people attended you know like uh, this was uh, very well organized by uh, gdch colleagues and uh, vardar inter college colleagues so you know like uh, uh, record break attendance was there but one of the important factor was professor van wick delivered the lecture keynote on you know like uh, oral submucous fibrosis and uh, of course you can see how when you interact with the you know overseas uh, uh, professors or mentor you really develop a stronger bonds but here on the home ground you can see this was the uh, you know or a presentation by dr mandana and uh, late dr uh, professor bharti cherry so and uh, like you know in the history you people in the journey you meet so many uh, travelers and mandana has been co traveler since 1998 we have been attending many national and international conferences and her uh, uh, 360 oral pathology has really made an impact on understanding of oral diseases so this is how uh, uh, i was you know bonded and one of the important finding of that conference was uh, this uh, glamorous lady of uh, which really brought glamour not only in the uh, oral precancer cancer but into the glamour into the indian academy of uh, oral pathology she explained everything whether it is a lymphomatic diseases lymphomas salivary gland of course odontogenic tumors and uh, immunocytochemistry and all what not Uh, everywhere she is respected and at nagpur she said uh, potentially malignant lesions and oral cancers are frequently encountered lesions in india yet not much attention has been paid maybe due to the unglamorous nature and monotonous regularity with which it appears in oral pathology registry so many institutions after 1998 uh, strengthen their registries and uh, throughout india there are a definite uh, very good clinical registries of uh, and the impact was that you know in uh, nagpur we have 19 since 1978 and still going on and professor pitberg visited us sorry professor johnson visited us in 1997 uh, 98 so and then uh, along with professor johnson he kept sending his phd students and we collaborated and we brought the understanding of you know erica nut and genomic susceptibility to be the you know osf uh, pathogenesis of course my colleague dr jaygopal ray has worked uh, more on this uh, you know genomics uh, susceptibility uh, like many of you i'm just naming uh, professor ray but you know there are plenty of people and see beauty and the beast this is the erica nut you know like uh, mauritius i have visited i saw eric on it uh, looking very charming but you know this beauty and the basic behavior resulted in a you know oral submucous fibrosis uh, in a four year old child uh, unfortunately this happens only in india because you know uh, his grandparents used to give uh, the erica nut uh, mixed with the kharra and tobacco to this child so this child suffered unnecessarily uh, submucous fibrosis so along with professor johnson's lab you know we did uh, a uh, work uh, original work you know original work has come from the india from the uh, labs of the clinics of the gdch uh, nagpur you know like roll up copper in erica in etiopathogenesis and its malignant transformation we have few publications and uh, uh, basically erica contains copper it increases the salivary copper proteins uh, salivary copper levels which transports um, to the connective tissue and uh, up regulation of the lysyl oxidase takes place and cross linking of the collagen takes place so uh, uh, collagen which was uh, uh, reversible uh, it becomes the you know collagen uh, becomes irreversible and uh, 
this is how the fibrosis sets in you know and copper also binds to the p53 resulting in instability of the protein so p53 which was oncosuppressor becomes oncopropitor so i'm just telling you you know how uh, you know uh, personal interactions or institutional reaction rather helps to you know uh, come out with the original research so this was the original research i have uh, uh produced from uh, nagpur india and uh, many many good things there are several conferences where such uh, uh, beautiful pictures are there i remember sushmita sakshena has conducted conference at new delhi in 2003 and hiv was at you know like the highlight of the conference and this is professor uh, green greenspan you know he is dancing and you know we all are enjoying you know so this is how your association academy have uh, you know made uh, uh, progress in the present uh, uh, so present uh, con uh, present uh, presently you know so of course the international first conference under the able guidance of you know uh, organizing secretary dr uh, ranganathan we had uh, you know first international oral pathology conference with our iop in 2016 and many stalwarts including professor varnakula surya professor daptri and uh, professor uh, samar naike uh, have attended there were definite sessions and everybody you know appreciated the indian uh, academy of oral pathology or level of uh, indian oral pathology research in india okay so uh, this is you know like uh, research facilities we always say we don't have the research facilities in my institutions but believe me research facilities are available in many cities in many institutions of national importance like in nagpur we have national environmental engineering research institute where all our molecular biology work was done so we need to exchange uh, you know institutional friendship this is what i wanted to emphasize upon because the object of researcher research is advancement and not of the investigator but of the knowledge you know this is a famous quote hopefully uh, signify the research and we have been successfully doing research as i have told you this is gdc this is national environmental engineering institute nagpur where we hosted our seventh uh, national uh, conference in 1998 and we did uh, aggressive periodontitis pcr study uh, along with my colleague supriya pande and it was presented at cape town uh, south africa you know in uh, periodontology conference where i was invited to so that was isolation of identification of a from subgingival microflora of aggressive periodontitis patient clinical and pcr study and you see from direct plaque samples we could get the uh, you know genes and uh, at 253 base pair a uh, base pair they were you know present uh, so this is you know all you know there is no ambiguity when we do culture there may be negative reports but you know pcr is definitely more reliable again we continued with uh, dr sarita inchuri and uh, we studied the leukotoxic strain of a and that's how we continued and completed all uh, green zone uh, orange zone and red zone microbes and we have you know we have the first uh, studies on aggressive periodontitis in indian population so this is what you know it starts if you have you know vision and mission so many dental institutions had have a vision and also mission to give uh, advantage of the modern research facilities to the postgraduate students especially i name I, i have to name a few i'm sorry i could not name all because there are many many good institutions but i'm really impressed with you know uh, maratha mandil belgaum and this is one of the uh, clinical setup uh, and molecular biology setup and this is courtesy because of dr ramakant naik dr kishor bhat you know one of the name who made uh, all these my molecular uh, techniques very friendly user friendly and dr bandana and of course similar institutes are there at uh, vardha dental college dyp pune they also have stem cell and uh, you know research labs kelly maratha mandir ramchandra institute of chennai they have experimental labs these are the to name a few 
just I want to emphasize that everything is available. So you need to extend uh, hand to this, uh, you know, people. So I come back to my, you know, uh, some, you know, like I have done, you know, I have really taken clinical interest in some cases. Initially, I started with the odontogenic tumors like uh, amyloblastoma. I used to be fascinated by all spectrum of tumors. And I have seen almost all the you know, odontogenic tumors. And this is now PVL, proliferative varicose leukoplakia, which was described by Villa, uh, described by Hansen in 1985. Then Villa recently have you know made it uh, like a uh, it call, he calls erythroleukoplakia. But I have observed few cases. They have you know they look like yellow. So I turned them, I turned them pleoplakia. So this is one case I would like to share because it made a real impact on my understanding. This is oral submucous fibrosis, 36 year old man. Uh, we were seen in uh, 2017. You can see uh, mild dysplasia. He was under you know treatment, under proper follow up. I was giving him you know what is known as uh, oral metronomic chemotherapy, and uh, in fact uh, this resulted in you know that lesion uh, reoccurred at another site, and these were you know really alarming as you know it was high risk or uh, severe dysplasia or high risk uh, dysplasia, what we call nowadays. You can count mitosis more than 10 per higher field, you know. So this is how it uh, proliferates. And unfortunately, in 2019, he developed, uh, you know, well-differentiated squamous cell carcinoma. So early diagnosis, you, this nodule was excised, and you see how, you know, it becomes, you know, early well-differentiated. He was definitely treated. Uh, and uh, with the help of uh, oncosurgeons, Dr. Abhishek Vaidya, we have treated this case. And this was follow-up up to 2020. You know, it was moderately differentiated squamous cell carcinoma, lymph node, no metastasis. And depth of invasion was 2 mm. So radiotherapy was not advised. And he was advised only proper follow-up from 21 to 22. And uh, this is how we achieved uh, uh, great success. And this was the histopathology, hardly well differentiated one. And uh, as I told you, no metastasis. Why I'm making import because you know this is the main burden we have to share in India. You know, most of the oral cancer cases we have to you know treat. So 2021, he was disease free. You can see how smiling he used to send me. He didn't attend for a year uh, from 21 to 22, but however. Mm -hmm. He used to send me, you know, clinical snaps, uh, selfies, and other thing. And but remember, uh, last month I saw him, and uh, you know, it had, uh, you know, lungs metastasis, suspected lung metastasis, and uh, two three enhancing lesions on MRI, which showed uh, PMMC uh, flap recurrence, uh, also uh, mediastinal metastasis. And features were suggestive of pulmonary metastasis and likely brain metastasis. He was sent to his home uh, town to in a district hospital with a palliative. So over the period of starting from 19, uh, uh, 2070 in the end rate of with the metastasis. So this is you know a really aggressive uh, pattern of PVLs. And this is what uh, when I saw him last, you know, very touching. You know, I just told you I am going to share a few of my personal experiences. I have been following him. And when I saw him last uh, in the first week of February, um, uh, you know, he really, you can see small tears coming up and he's uh, giving you, you know, uh, all kind of, you know, so respect to you, your, you know, we, uh, your help, assistant, whatever we could do. And uh, you can see uh, all the bronchi, you know, this is the x-ray. And what, uh, because, you know, he couldn't attend because of the pandemic. For one year, he could not attend. So what I believe hard won gains in both detection and cure getting reversed. You know, two millimeter uh, invasion, we have operated hemi uh, glossoctomy and there was no recurrence. But uh, over the period of one year, he couldn't, uh, you know, visit and a patient has metastasis in uh, flaps, lungs, and, you know, brain also. 
So what uh, epidemics, uh, lesson to be learned from epidemics, hard one gains in detection and cure got reversed, you know, unfortunate story. So clash of two titans, I would say, cancer and, you know. So anyway, the take home message is that service leads to success. You know, like uh, I have always, you know, uh, uh, credited to my patients, to my, you know, uh, parents and my mentors. So this is, you know, from Ramayana, this is a keyword. He is a very skillful man. He is taking uh, Prabhu Ram and uh, the family to, you know. So he, you have to be a very skillful navigator in the journey, especially in the dealing with the cancer cases. You know, I just now two or three slides. Overseas presentation by distinguished professor. I told you, uh, 1978, uh, Professor Van Wyck, Professor Greenspan, Professor Samar Naike, Professor Johnson. And there have been many, many conferences at Lucknow, Amritsar, Bangalore, Calicut. And last conference we had uh, under the able guidance, uh, Dr. Aip uh, Trivendram and Professor Suk Bin Wu from Harvard. So, you know, the conferences are giving you an opportunity to interact with the, you know, uh, collaborators. And this is what I have done. And uh, uh, many researchers from India and abroad brought understanding. So this is the present scenario. Present is really successful and the uh, message for the, you know, young uh, oral pathologists that there are plenty of fellowships available for the faculty. There may be, you know, Commonwealth Medical Fellowship or John Hopkins Medical Fellowship. Travel grants are available. You know, you can attend the conferences. IOP, International Association of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathology, uh, offers, you know, students for the especially you know, fundings to the students. There are plenty of funds. We have taken funds from ICMR, Department of Biotechnology, uh, Tata, and so many. And this is one of the, you know, like forthcoming event. Why I want to focus this slide? Because this is now the present stage. Uh, Dr. Malthi is, you know, conducting a Indo-Chinese virtual conference from 5th to 7th March. And many stalwarts in uh, uh, our oral pathology will be delivering. So. Uh, uh, oral submucous fibrosis insight into phytochemical therapy and their translational application. So uh, you can uh, request or I will be sending you the registration link and uh, let's hope. And this is what uh, you get, you know, over the period of like uh, 50 years of BDS and my, you know, 78 onwards, this journey has, you know, given me uh, some, you know, uh, lifetime achievement awards like receiving a science promotion award at the hands of the APJ Abdul Kalam was a great. And that's what I told you. I'll be sharing my personal uh, journey with this uh, through this uh, presentation. And I'm really honored that uh, I was uh, uh, I was honored by, you know, uh, late Abdul uh, Kalam Sri. And this is how uh, we have a, when we concluding, we have a glorious past, many stalwarts, have in oral pathology have worked and brought uh, present, uh, uh, you know, like uh, uh, oral pathologists like me, Mandana, Professor Ranganathan, and Professor Paul, uh, Professor Jagopal Ray, and uh, Dr. Rajendra. And many, you know, we have really enjoyed the successful uh, span of, you know, oral pathology. And future is really promising. There is a, you know, translational research is uh, going to take place in different, uh, you know, uh, directions of understanding of oral pathology and oral cancer and uh, diseases. So future is really promising for the upcoming uh, oral pathologies. That is what I would like to say. This is the past, uh, present and future of uh, Indian uh, uh, oral pathology uh, for the last 60 years. I really thank uh, Dr. Mandana and my mentor, Dr. Thaptari, and this is, you know, like uh, really a very good theme uh, Mandana has given us, Oral Pathology 360. All her, you know, maybe more than 50, they are stored in data and in the clouds. So I was just jokingly saying everything is available in the cloud, but, you know, eyes do not see what the mind doesn't know. So hopefully uh, Oral Pathology 360 will be, you know, giving us uh, uh, more understanding of the diseases. This is the snap beautifully given by Professor Akhtar, you know, you can see literally, you know, this is hematoxylin using and he's painting, you know, 
So our bread and butter of H and E stain in the so there is the infinite glamour in oral pathology. This is uh, I thank uh, Professor Akhtar in Upa Dental College, Mangalore, and thank you all of you for giving me an, uh, this opportunity and expressing uh, myself, my personal experiences, my professional experiences through various institutions. And honestly, I'm telling you, this is a very uh, auspicious day for me. It's Mahashivratri, and it is uh, 90th day of uh, my mother's birthday. My mother's birthday, 90th. So I really am because of her. And uh, thank you, Mandana, once again. Thank you. You are most welcome, sir. It is our pleasure to have you here and to listen to you. Well, sir, Dr. Varpande also has joined us. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and yes, so he is also here. Good morning, sir. It is nice to have you. So we have some more colleagues who have joined. Dr. Ratu has joined. Dr. Pooja has joined. Dr. Karima. Dr. Arpan. And this is just while we wait everyone for everyone to put in their comments. Dr. Madhu Shankri. Of course, Dr. Sandhya we saw earlier. Uh, Dr. Rebecca and uh, Guru Raj sir also has joined. Hello, sir. Yes. And yes. So we have everybody here. And now let's see what everyone wants to say. So, sir, I've got to ask you while uh, everyone sort of gets their questions and thoughts together. Uh, in all the years that you have uh, now worked as an oral pathologist, and not a personal experience, not uh, not a personal achievement, but as an achievement where you felt really happy to be an oral pathologist. That moment when you said, yes, this is the right thing I chose for the rest of my life. Yes, Mandana. Am I audible? Yes, sir. Yes. Am I, yeah, good, good. You know, over the period of, you know, like in my, you know, first title slide also, I am, you know, with the microscope. And I told you, I used to carry a slide in my pocket whenever I used to go to, you know, I was working in TIFR. And at that time, uh, along with Dr. Daftari, Professor Pinberg used to visit us. And we used to screen. I worked there for three years and as a research dentist and as an oral pathologist, I was allowed in, you know, histopathological discussions. So I told you my main area of interest was oral institutive tumors that time. But, you know, Professor Pinberg and we, we were seeing the slides from rural part of the India. And one of the slide was, you know, like uh, uh, most of them, like my senior uh, colleagues, they felt it's a, a squamous cell carcinoma because coming from the Andhra or Kerala belt with the habits and with a small, uh, huge growth, uh, it was, you know, like proliferating uh, keratin pearls and every islands. And, you know, it was definitely mimicking squamous cell carcinoma. And... Uh, when Professor Pinberg was uh, seeing the slide, I just said, uh, and he politely, you know, Prof, I can, can I share my, you know, views? Yes, yes, he said, you know, and I said, Prof, could this be a peripheral amyloblastoma? And my goodness, he was, you know, so happy to listen to these words. Yes, he's going to make a change in the diagnosis. It's not early squamous cell carcinoma. But it was the proliferating epithelial islands and uh, with keratin pearls, which was, were misdiagnosed, it was indeed peripheral uh, uh, amyloblastoma. And uh, Mandana, he gave me a pat. You know, this was, you know, really, 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 I can never forget. And that's how, you know, I was young at that time, you know, very curious to learn about odontogenic tumors, oral pathology, cyst, and other things. But then I concentrated on OPMDs with uh, Dr. Daftri, Dr. Gupta's team. And that was, you know, I feel this was the turning point uh, uh, in my life as a professional oral pathologist. I am really proud of that those that moment. I, I can only imagine how that must have felt. Yes, <laughs> that must have been something. <laughs> okay. So, uh, so what do you have to say for uh, you? I mean, it is something that I know we keep coming back to. And uh, we are celebrating 60 years. And uh, so there is a lot of good. But there's also some things we also have to accept what is not working out. So what do you think is the one thing if you could change now 
the one thing in the Indian oral pathology scene, what would that be? Here again, Vandana, I will be sharing my personal as well as professional experience. As I was telling you, you know, exhibited that last case, you know, from 19, 2017 till 22, I followed, you know, during pandemic, that man couldn't come. And I showed you, I could see the tears in his eyes, you know, the sort of grateful gratitude towards, you know, not me, but the entire profession or the persons who are, you know, looking. And uh, really pandemic has played an havoc. You know, that man, when I saw in January 21, he was laughing and uh, maybe traveling restrictions and could not come because of the family reasons. But when I saw in January 22, he had metastasis. And I really felt, you know, very sad. And uh, the early diagnosis, two millimeter of invasion was there. There was no point in giving him radiotherapy. Only we could have detected a proper follow-up was there. But these uh, demons, uh, COVID and cancer, have really shattered the dream of um, me, you know, like giving a cure to, you know, a patient. So I think uh, we should develop uh, empathy for the, you know, uh, towards patients, you feel that, uh, you know, maybe last minute you can't help it. I'm just uh, helping you with the, you know, palliative chemotherapy, but also that is the part I'm playing to serve the humanity. And that was really sad. We all need to work uh, at uh, translational research and also clinical side to reduce the burden of oral cancer. That is what I think and all of us are capable. I'm quite confident IOP, definitely Indian Academy of Oral and Maxillofacial Pathologist will be a milestone in the you know cancer cure. Yes, so that's very true. These are all the unseen and uncounted losses to COVID, which are not being counted in the losses, but they are lost to COVID, yes. The only thing that I also feel is what I've seen this coming up a lot on um, different, not just for cancer, the, the people with many uh, varying chronic illnesses who have not been able to follow up with their treatment in the last two years with very sad results and outcomes. I think this is where now we can, and with the current technology, we, it gives us the impetus to, to go on to the uh, a form of being able to do more of tele or, you know, distant uh identifying and updating consultations with the patients, be able to check patients even if they are not able to come to us. So yeah, let's hope we never have a pandemic again. But if it uh, happens, we should be better prepared. And uh, also so many other things that can happen. Today we have a war going on very again in the world. And I think, again, so that also I think physically is going to regionally cause a lot of problems besides of course, when there's a war going on, people think of bigger things and more immediate things. But these are all facts of life that um, on the medical and dental side, we uh, we don't have any much say to say for the political or all those things. But this is where we can step in and ensure that our half is at least taken care of. That is uh, but very true what you said. We need to work there and stay updated. So let's see what everybody else has said. Um, Yes, Dr. Faraz says very good <laughs> orator, of course. I have made <laughs> a new very friend nice now, Faraz. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> nice very good. Thank you. Thank, you, Faraz. Really Thank you, Faraz. Yes, Dr. Raghu, he enjoyed your lecture. Yeah. We are made for each other, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And Dr. Nasser, how sweet oh, you say. Nasser, Happy how sweet. Yeah. Mom. yeah. <laughs> Wonderful and really, you know, I would definitely dedicate this presentation to my mother. You know, like, yeah. That is wonderful. Yes. Yes. So, so Raghu is telling you, you are an inspiration to many young oral pathologists and the older ones like me. Hope you continue to inspire, <laughs> us, inspire us for generations. Truly honored. Yes. Good. Good, Raghu. <laughs> Dr. Faraz, he said, good to have seen legends of Indian oral pathology. Yes. And Dr. Puyan, great informative presentation. Thank you. Puyan is from which place? 
uh, from Iran, from Tehran, Iran, Iran. Tehran University. Iran. Yes. Good, yes. good. They are the ones who conduct a lot of uh, online sessions, actually, in the last two years. <laughs> yes. Nasir, and, I will be uh, definitely sending you my email. So we continue our friendship. And uh, yes. maybe I'll be able to share this if it is with you. You know, like, good. Good. Thank you, Mandana. You are met. So, you know, like, what is Revak <laughs> saying? Rebecca, thanks Rebecca. for bringing up the past. It was nice to hear and watch you legends on this platform. 60 years of history. Proud alumni of KLE Belgavi. <laughs> yes. Yeah, yeah. And uh, Dr. Arvind, yes, he was supposed to be with us today. Uh, family situation prevented it. But thank you, Arvind, for being there. And he is telling you a very good morning to you. Yeah, see. thank you, Arvind. Dr. K.M. Desai, great presentations are always inspirational. Her first nerve itself is Karishma. So, you know. <laughs> okay. All right. And um, I have been my direct student. So, she always, you know, <laughs> you know, she is a co-traveler in this journey. We did. All my postgraduate students are with me in this journey, especially. Yes. So, sir, if you have a minute, we shall take, uh, we shall do that giveaway while you are also here with us. So, what you need to do for getting that uh, registration to the upcoming dementia sensitive dental care uh, three hour program is you need to type in the comments hashtag oral pathology 360, exactly what you see here. In the meanwhile, let's see who else commented. Dr. Chaitanya, hi. Dr. Ratu, I'm inspired as the only oral pathologist in Fiji. <laughs> yes, wow. Sent my Mandara, email let's go to and Fiji. I like yeah, Let's I go to Fiji. <laughs> <laughs> Create a network. Wonderful, wonderful, Dr. Ratu. Yes. And, um, Ah, Rebecca, oh. there goes. <laughs> okay, so Rebecca, you are getting that. Yes, and now with that, let me go back and share. And uh, yes, thank you so much, sir. Thank, thank you, you thank you, Mandana. <laughs> yes, Wonderful. it is uh, always our pleasure, sir. Always our pleasure. And. Uh, just so that everyone knows what they got so i will show this one again yes this is the event that went that was the giveaway and yes rebecca this is what you got i will send you the link for this and of course in the upcoming next week it is going to be academics and dissertation writing by dr shalin chandra i think all the colleges everyone is busy 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 writing dissertations so this is a good time i guess while they finish their work they can attend this and uh, now before we go away we seem to have some more comments so let me just get those for you sir yes <laughs> that was dr Abhidharmia. yes and dr daftari daftari ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> nice thank you for being here thank you okay. sir thank you for mentoring me yes always good to remember okay so with that thank you sir it was a great you, great pleasure to have you with us have a great day and hopefully see you soon yeah yes bye bye sir and thank you all for joining us and right so please remember it is wonderful you join us we are very glad to have you with us every week and as you come back then it keeps us also going so see you then see you next week have fun catch up with you bye